All right, Steve, I think we're ready to go. All right, thank you, Tom. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us at Oki's third virtual trade show. Today's show will focus on how digital transfer and embroidery technologies can work together. And we'll be focusing on printing multiple items on one sheet of media in order to maximize profits. We know how important your business is to you and we thank you for joining us in this virtual setting. We're all trying to find ways to keep our businesses going while practicing social distancing. We here at Oki are working from home to continue to support you and we know that many of you are doing the same. So whether you're watching from your home office, your living room, kitchen, or any other room in your house, we're happy that you're able to join us today. Today's show will give you the opportunity to see how Oki digital transfer printers can help you bring your creative visions to life. You'll learn how to transfer onto umbrellas, shirts, and how to create appliques to print onto hats. We'll show you how easy the process is with step-by-step -step demonstrations. And afterward, you'll have the confidence to grow your business by accessing new revenue streams, providing customized decorative and promotional items on demand. As an attendee, please note that your audio is muted. However, you can type your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of the Zoom window at any time during the webinar. After the demo, we'll have a live Q&A where our experts will answer your questions. The hosts of today's show will be Dylan and Garrett McMinn. Dylan and Garrett are store sales managers for Stitch It International. Dylan and Garrett have been with Stitch It for five years, and you may have already seen them at one of the many trade shows that Stitch It has attended. Dylan and Garrett have worked very closely with Oki resellers providing education, training, and customer support for those resellers. They do a tremendous job of demonstrating Oki digital transfer printers as well as embroidery processes. So I'll now turn it over to Dylan and Garrett at the Stitch It studio to get the show started. Hey everybody, so my name is Dylan McMinn and this is my cousin slash coworker Garrett McMinn and we really, really appreciate everybody joining us today. So today we're gonna to be focusing on the Oki Data digital transfer printers and the SWF MAS-12 embroidery machine and how the two of them can work together to help maximize profitability. So Garrett's gonna be doing our demonstrations for us today. So what you're looking at here is a sheet of transfer media by Forever that has multiple logos on it and that we have printed on the Oki Data Pro 9541 digital transfer printer. We will be using all of these logos in different ways to show a few of the multiple applications that can be done with this process. After you print off your designs, you will then heat press the A and B sheets together to fuse the adhesive to the toner. Garrett's fusing it as we speak. So here's the A and the B sheets here. So you always want to remember to use a silicone sheet or some parchment paper to help protect your platens. So when you're heat pressing these sheets together, you always want to press at 315 degrees at a medium pressure for 120 seconds. We are pressing this on a Hotronics Fusion IQ heat press. This is a great press for this application because the upper platen um, or comes down straight from the top to create even pressure, unlike a clam style heat press. So what we've done is put multiple jobs on one sheet to take advantage of the full sheet of paper to keep costs as low as possible. This logo at the bottom is going to be going on a black cotton t-shirt and that we will then put hot stamping foil over the top of the design to add value at a very low cost. These two logos will be going on two different golf umbrellas. 
And then the rest of these over here, Garrett will be showing us how to create applique with incorporating our embroidery machine. Your total cost for this job will be roughly $45 total. This includes the media paper, the toner, the shirt, the umbrellas, five Richardson hats, your labors in there, and all of the low cost items needed for the embroidery machine. After decorating all of these items, the sale price will be right at $155. That's a profit of 110 bucks at a gross margin of 71%. So Garrett is just now done with the A and the B pressing, and he's gonna be uh, doing the peel now. So when you're peeling the A and the B sheets apart, make sure to keep it as a slow and steady peel and keep it low to the platen because it's a hot peel and you wanna keep it warm throughout the whole entire peeling process. So what I'm gonna show you is, this is the one that was printed off fresh, and then this one's already been fused with the adhesive. So you can see the difference on how the toner only sticks, or the, the adhesive only sticks to the toner. And by doing that, it'll allow us to press it to whatever garment we need, whether that be a hard good or a shirt, and then you can just peel it right away with no weeding necessary. <clears throat> so now that we have it married, the two, where we married the two sheets, we can now apply it to the garment. This process will be for 30 seconds and also at 315 degrees. So while he's doing that, I wanna show you another job that has 40 of our applique logos for hats on one sheet. With this job, your cost will be around $165, including all of the hats. If you sell all of these hats for $17.50 each, that's a total of 700 bucks. You'll profit $535 at a gross margin of 76%. So now that this one's done, we're going to set that one aside because this one is a cold peel. So we're going to let that cool off. We've already got one pressed that's sitting right here that he's going to go ahead and peel. It's as easy as just peeling it right off the garment, just rolling it off, just like that. No weeding necessary. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is add some value. You can see it's just black right now. Now, we're going to add some value to the shirt at a very low cost with incorporating hot stamping foil. Now, you can get a roll of foil for about $21, so it's really cheap, and it also comes in multiple different colors. This process only takes 20 seconds, and it's at the same temperature as before. So what makes these printers so special is the fact that you are not limited. You can go on 100% cotton, you can go on 100% polyester, and anything in between. You'll also be able to do hard surface goods. Now we have mugs, you can do wood, water bottles, glass, paper gift bags, bottle openers, virtually anything that can fit in a heat press and it can take heat can be transferred to. The hot stamping foil is also a cold peel, so that's finished. He's gonna go ahead and set that one aside as well. We've already got one that's already been pressed and he's gonna peel that off and show you the finished product. And while he's showing you that, We've already pressed to uh, one of our umbrellas. So I'm gonna bring that up a little bit closer to the camera. And that's just a golf logo for a local golf course. So since these printers are toner and not ink, you will have no maintenance whatsoever. You will not have to worry about cleaning it because it is toner, it does not clog. They also come standard with a two-year on-site warranty. So what we're gonna do now is incorporate the SWF embroidery machine to create patches for applique that can be applied to whatever garment you may choose. We're gonna be showing it on a structured Richardson hat. Patches are a very popular way to de decorate a hat these days. So how this works is we start by getting a piece of any type of material. Today we're using tackle twill. Uh, that we sell in our online store, but you can use any fabric or leather depending on what look you're trying to achieve. So we'll start by running the design on the material. We have one that's almost done running on the machine already, and Garrett's going to let it finish, and it's only going to run for about five seconds, and I'm going to let it do its thing, so I'm not going to be trying to talk over it. Okay, there we go. All right, so now all you have to do is pull it off of your hoop, and then you would then take some applique scissors to trim around the patch. Here we have one that is already trimmed, 
And then here is one that we have already pressed with one of our applique logos. So now you can take this, <clears throat> from here you can apply it to the hat with either embroidering it on or by using a heat activated adhesive and a hat press. And here is the final product. Hopefully everybody can see that. So now what I'm gonna be talking about is the difference between the two printers that I have back here. This is the 9541, the bigger one. It can do prints up to 13 inches by 19 inches and comes standard with all five CMYK plus W toner cartridges. This is the Pro 8432. This one can do up to 11.8 by 19 inch prints and is a CMYW or K printer. What that means is you have the swappability from the black and the white toners. With the other toners, you can create a composite black. But if you need a true black on white garments, you have the ability to swap out the white toner and put a black toner cartridge in, and it only takes about two minutes to do the full swap. Each of these printers comes with a package of 100 sheets of the Forever Laser Dark Transfer Media. This is the paper that we've used for all the garments that we just made. It comes with 100 sheets of the hard surface paper for all of your hard surface goods. It comes with a full extra set of toner. It includes shipping, training, lifetime support, a two-year on-site warranty, and a gift card to Printava Supply where you'll be able to pick out a wide variety of blanks to transfer to, like the mugs and the other stuff. Both of these packages come at the, at the retail price of the printer, and then we throw in all the other stuff for free at no additional cost. The Pro 9541 will run you right at 13649 The Pro 8432 is going to be $7,240. So now I'm gonna talk about our embroider machine. This is our industrial, but yet compact SWF embroidery machine. These machines are the only machines on the market with Wi-Fi capabilities. This allows you to drag and drop designs from your computer without using cables or USB sticks. It has a 10.4 inch touchscreen and it can run up to, up to 1200 stitches per minute. It comes with our patented quick change cap driver system also. So with the package that comes with it, it's also gonna include a business bundle and that's gonna be thread, backing, bobbins, needles, a toolkit, and oil. It comes with digitizing software, the Wi-Fi router for our networking software, shipping and training, seven-year warranty, lifetime support, and it's only $7,999. So before I finish this up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more shirts that we did with the printers that are a little bit more in detail and full color. So everybody can take a look at that. That's just some of the capabilities that these printers can do. So I really appreciate everybody uh, coming here and uh, watching this. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have during our Q&A. Um, hopefully everybody heard everything well because obviously we are on Wi-Fi and our office is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So if there was a portion of the presentation that kind of was skipping, and you have some questions about it, we can always take a video of it and send it to you or just answer that question later on or during this Q&A. So back to you guys, Oki. Hey, Dylan, that was great. Uh, we've got a couple questions. First off, uh, explain the durability of the shirt once you put the foil on top of it. So I'm going to show you this shirt one more time. The reason why I had this one in front is because we have washed this shirt 45 times so far. And it is pretty, uh, if you stretch this, you can stretch it and it will go back to form. So as far as the durability, it's gonna last a long time. How about if you put foil over top of it like you did at the beginning of the demo? If I put foil on top of it, it's gonna last the same amount of time, the same yeah. amount of washes. It's not gonna affect it. Yeah, I know Steve has a, Steve has a beetle shirt that he wears. He was wearing it today, as a matter of fact, that has foil on it. And uh, it seems to hold up very well. Yeah, I don't yeah, see any major difference well. in durability with a foil on top of it. Um, another question. 
the cost of an A and B sheet and maybe the total cost of printing once it's gone through the printer? So the total cost of printing for the A and the B sheet, um, I'll start out by saying if you, if you get a hundred pack, you're getting a hundred A and a hundred B, it comes together. So a total cost for the 8432 model is gonna be about $4 roughly. That's gonna yeah. be uh, the toner, the, uh, the media paper, all of it. Um, as far as the bigger printer, the 9541, it's going to be about $4.25 or $4.50 roughly. A uh, question came in whether or not you can use T-Seal on forever. Do you know what that is? I, I will be honest with you. I'm not really familiar with the product. Um, okay. I, I can do some research, I. though, and I, I would be happy to answer that. I'd be happy to answer that later. The uh, the Oki packages that you mentioned, do they include any RIP software? So it comes with the uh, RIP software by Forever. So it's the same company that you get the media from. Um, we offer all of their media, all the sizes. You, you're not limited to the big sizes. You can get smaller ones and it's all integrated into the RIP software that you get in that package. And it comes with both printers. Do you recommend any special washing instructions with the shirts that have been made with the Forever Media? You know, I could I could tell everybody to turn it inside out and then hang dry it outside. But if you're like me, you're going to throw it in the washer and you're going to throw it in the dryer and, and just go with it. So, I mean, you always have to recommend uh, turning it inside out. But as far as like that shirt goes, uh, we were just throwing it in the washer and the dryer. So... I see a couple of heat presses there. Can you tell us which ones you're using? So this is the, uh, the uh, Fusion IQ by Hotronics. Um, so that one's typically 2,250 uh, bucks. We usually run our packages at $2,000. Um, what we have over here is a uh, hat press by Hotronics as well. And then we have a mug press by Geo Knight. <clears throat> Uh, is there a package that includes both the printer and the embroidery machines? So we can always bundle things together and it, it would definitely affect or change the amount that we're charging for all of it. We're, we do negotiate with things. So if we were to package a big bundle together, we would definitely be able to work with somebody for sure. Okay. Another question regarding how long do you press your shirts, uh, with the paper, it's uh, first A and B is 120 seconds, right? And then 30 seconds when you're putting the final sheet onto the shirt, both of them 310 degrees, 315. Yeah so, yeah, so we do it at 315 degrees. Obviously, I mean, if it's 320 or 310, it's really not gonna affect the integrity that much, but uh, 315 degrees is a happy medium. But yeah, that was the correct times. I got, a, I got a question regarding DTG printer and having to replace the head almost every year. How often do you have to replace parts for the uh, Oki printers? So we've been selling these for well over a year now. And as far as replacing any parts, uh, the only time that we had to replace anything actually was when UPS decided they wanted to drop one of these things on the ground. So since this is toner, and not ink, it, is, it does not clog. Um, it's, you will not have to worry about the maintenance part. The, the, one, the one shirt, black shirt you, you showed us with a face on it, did you use the forever rip with that? I did, so. Did, did you shirt, soften it up by punching the cutout, punch outs? That, that is correct. Um, you probably can't notice it from the camera, but whenever you're about this close, you can see little holes in the design. What that's called is rasterization. And what that does is helps with the stretchiness of it. It helps with the durability because water can actually get through the design instead of sitting behind it. When, and then you throw it in the dryer and it can cause bubbles. And then it's also gonna help with your cost because you're not laying as much toner down. So it's gonna save you some money. Dylan, can you press on wood and glass? You can. So I have a piece of wood here and then a glass mirror. You can see that that's wood. And then uh, our customer service guy, uh, Kyle Steinman, this is actually a picture of his kids. And then here's a mirror. 
So yes, to answer your question, you can. We all have them over here. And then a, a paper gift bag. This is, a, this is a wine bottle gift bag. Pretty neat stuff. How about plastic? You can't do plastic bottles, can you? Um, as long as it can withstand the heat. Um, so it really depends on what, I mean, how, what the plastic is exactly. I, I personally haven't tried it on one of our mug presses, but as long as it can take heat and it's not going to melt, you can transfer to it. Dylan, tell us about where Stitch It is located and any training that you offer. So Stitch It, our main location is in uh, Patton, Missouri. It's pretty close to St. Louis, Missouri. And then we have another location that we uh, house these printers at where we can do trainings in, uh, in California, at, in Rancho Cucamonga. As far as training goes, we've uh, taken the time to create very, very in-depth videos. Um, it starts with unboxing it um, all the way to the point where it's step-by-step -step directions of how to use the RIP software. Um, how to set up your uh, your drivers it's very in-depth um, we're available all the time like i said kyle steinman he's uh he's a genius when it comes to these printers during his interview which he was actually interviewing for a different job for some reason he said that he used to like he liked to take printers apart and put them back together so i was like uh, i think i have a perfect job for you and he's been brilliant with these things so he'll be along your side every step of the way we're getting a lot of great questions. Uh, I just want to reaffirm, re, uh, want to reaffirm, we're using the Forever Laser Dart to make the shirts. Uh, that is correct. This is how this about is the, hard the Forever goods? Laser Dart. So the hard goods, uh, I we offer two different types of hard good paper. Um, we sell the multi trans, which is also by that same company, Forever, and then we also offer the Magic Touch uh, hard surface paper. They're both great papers. Um, I, I can show you this. One of these are both aluminum. One of these was done with the uh, Magic Touch. One of them was done with the Forever paper, and the outcome would end up being virtually the same. We have a question about tra training on the Forever Rip, I believe, and I know there's a number of videos. Actually, they step through every screenshot on the Forever website. Uh, giving nice training and an overview of how to use all the functionality of the Forever Rip. Yeah, that's correct. And we also offer our own training with it. Uh, those, th they have the step-by-step -step stuff. We also have our version of the step-by-step. -step. Um, it's very in-depth. Um, I What we've kind of figured it out is it's typically uh, two phone calls and then you're good to go and you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, great. Um, is there any way we could provide a sample to anybody? Yeah, we can definitely uh, provide some samples. If so, if anybody wants a sample, um, my email is going to be SII, or I'm sorry, sales at SII.com. So if anybody wants to send their questions there, if you want some more information on all of this, um, if you're needing a sample, once again, it's sales at siistore.com. Oh, and, and, and we have a, a, Randy chimed in that the answer for the T-seal question is yes. Well, there we he's, have our, uh, he's our expert. I don't think he has communication capabilities just now. But uh, he did text me and said, yes, the answer to that is yes. So I think uh, that's about it. We, all the questions, we have a few more questions. They come in real quickly. We're going to go back through them. And anything that we did not get answered during the webinar, we'll certainly follow up with an email. So I think yes, that's, uh, that's pretty good for now, Dylan. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, everybody. Once again, we really appreciate it. We know this is really tough times that we're all going through and we're all doing our best. Um, I know you guys are, too. So once again, thank you. And like I said, we'll answer any more questions that you have. OK. All right. Thank you, Dylan. Steve, you got a um, final slide for us to review? 
Yep. Hope you're seeing that. Whoop. Give me one moment, please. No go. problem. All right. So thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Jim and Tom. Here's our information. Feel free to follow up with us if you have any additional questions. And thank you, everyone, for joining us.